St. Bethany Fresh is a hydroponic greenhouse operation located in Tupelo, Mississippi. We have been growing hydroponically for about four years. We started at the end of 2011. We broke ground on our first greenhouse in about October 2011. And our structure was not quite complete when we planted our first 3,000 seeds. We kind of constructed a little area inside the unfinished greenhouse. We're on a table with warming mats where we grew our, sowed our first seeds. We became interested in um, hydroponics, mainly to bring my dad uh, closer back to the family. He drove a truck for many years and has been interested in um, farming, providing local produce to our communities, and this was a chance to bring him back home near family, and we were all very supportive of that, so we jumped on the bandwagon, and uh, hydroponics was something that seemed lacking in this area and something that we could do uh, year-round as much as possible. We have two 12,000 square foot greenhouses, four bay greenhouses. We are growing about nine to ten months out of the year. There is usually about a two and a half, three month period where we are uh, replanting crops but for about nine to 10 months out of the year, we have a pretty steady um, crop coming off. We started off growing Geronimo uh, beefsteak slicer tomatoes. We, like I said, we planted 3,000 of those our very first year. In our uh, first greenhouse, we had four bays of Geronimo tomatoes. Very successful, they were very beautiful. Our first year definitely was our honeymoon period. You know, they're coming off and droves look gorgeous, taste wonderful. Uh, we expanded, we're now growing uh, varieties of heirloom tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. We're also growing mini and long English seedless cucumbers. So that is what we're growing right now in eight bays. We, uh, we chose to grow our, the Geronimo tomatoes after much deliberation. We looked at a lot of different systems even. Um, you know, I think we're both, we were, turned on by the lettuce and it's beautiful and we really leaned toward that for a long time but uh, ended up choosing tomatoes you know I'm not sure what our in uh, our deciding factor was but I think we were very glad we decided to go with that uh, tomatoes especially in the south have this um, there's a rich culture and as soon as uh, you know June rolls around every year people are just salivating for tomatoes and we're able to provide those you know now starting in February sometime depending on how we are we're able to provide those year round so uh, even though it might have been a lucky guess that's what we wanted to do it's ended up being something we definitely don't regret. St. Bethany uses state-of-the-art hydroponic systems in their controlled environment greenhouse to conserve water and fertilizer while growing high quality, fresh, healthy produce. Some of the common misconceptions uh, people have about hydroponic produce is we just don't know what that means. And they, you know, know it grows in water. They've heard about what's going on at, at you know, in Orlando or Walt Disney or something, but um, they don't really know what's going on. So I can't. Uh, I can't find fault in that because I didn't know what was going on before we started either, but um, common misconceptions is probably mainly the taste and that it's not a garden grown tomato and that's pretty easily uh, put to rest once you taste it and smell a uh, hydroponically grown anything from the tomatoes to the cucumbers. There's this incredibly real taste and it's crisp and it's it's juicy, it's almost sweet, and, um, but not too sweet. Leah Beth and her family have focused on providing local, pesticide-free, highly nutritious produce to their local community and schools. I think that's something that we were passionate about from the beginning is providing um, our local community, specifically our schools and our kids. Um, both my brother and I have kids, young kids, and this has been something that, you know, you have to fight with, and if they're not getting that during the day at school, you know, you're really having to fight harder. That's a goal. Um, so it's been an uphill battle for us to 
have our produce in local schools and we're finally seeing that come to fruition after about four years of you know trying to create relationships with our local schools and uh, we're in uh, finally this year will be our first year to be in two different local schools our two below city schools and our Oxford city schools which encompass like 24 schools in the area so um, we're really excited about that we are selling our long English cucumbers to our local schools. Um, they and they're f flying off the table, I guess. Compare. I mean, we also grow the English mini cucumbers, which I, you know, they're packaged for children. And uh, but they and the, the schools are purchasing the long English uh, cucumbers and they're slicing them up and uh, having a really great response. So our first year that we started growing and selling our produce to the public, we really wanted it to be a general public. We always have wanted to provide local, healthy, fresh produce to our local community. And we started out um, growing. We have stand at our, at our farm. We have a local stand. Uh, and farmer's markets was our sole uh, source of income and how we sold uh, our produce at the beginning. And um, we have expanded to building relationships with local farmers and local chefs and restaurants through those farmers markets and word of mouth. But we've always tried to be uh, available for our, our local base customers. So now we are um, selling in Whole Foods market. It is quite difficult to get into grocery stores. But with Whole Foods, they do have the pledge to support local farmers, even though that was a year or so long of leaving voicemails and trying to get in touch with the right person. Um, speaking at a conference uh, in Jackson, Mississippi, at a fruit and veggies conference, we had a purchaser uh, from the Southeast District that was there that after I gave um, a talk, he said, we want your produce. And I was like, I've been trying to get there for a year now. and that. Built, we started selling uh, our tomatoes in one uh, one of their locations in Memphis, and it, now they have two stores in Memphis, and they're selling throughout the southeast um, in about 20 stores. For growers that would like to sell at Whole Foods, um, we really look for three things. One, we have to make sure you meet our demand. Two, we want it to be done in a way that's respectful to the environment. And three, we want to be able to provide something unique to our customers. So if you have some sort of niche product, or we look for that. <laughs> the Whole Foods Market definition of local is anything that is within the state that it's produced or 150 miles of the store. It is very important for us to build a relationship with the farmer. We strive to be transparent. We want to know where the food comes from. Uh, not only do we want to know this as a company, but our customers want to know it as well. They want the relationship with the farmer. They want to know where their food comes from. St. Bethany's Produce has really found a niche market in uh, when it comes to local tomatoes. They are one of the only providers that can provide a locally grown, uh, pesticide-free tomato during the off-season. Here at Whole Foods Market, we embrace our responsibility to not only find products that help the local community flourish, but also the environment. St. Bethany's Fresh provides us a product that does both. After four years, St. Bethany has grown their business with a focus on conservation and high-quality produce and will continue to produce healthy food for their local schools and community. So our plans for the future, I think we still want to be in more local schools. That's definitely a, a goal of ours. This is our uh, fourth year and I can say this is actually the first year that we've had somewhere for all of our crop to go, which is scary. You know, it's been a, it's definitely a steep learning curve these first those first three years, we're struggling to find a market and communicating with local uh, businesses about what they wanted and how we can get that in their restaurants and in the schools. So um, we're finally breaking some ground in our school system. So we're hoping now that we're in 
two local school systems that that word of mouth and those relationships are just going to grow stronger and we can get into more schools so i i really feel like the next year or two that is going to be something we concentrate on and something we're really able to expand on right now i think we're doing just you know a couple of bays that are going to local schools but i really see that becoming four bays a whole house or even more than that in the next few years really enjoy doing farmers markets i've loved um, getting back in touch with where things are coming from and learning about those other farmers and uh, creating friendships and relationships with them they've taught me a lot about just patience or how this is this is uh, you're in it for the long haul this isn't and that's what we plan to do you know we're not going to be out of business in two years we want to be around it just takes some uh, patience a lot of patience and a lot of hard work and so I think making sure you have that help that family base to start would be something that is invaluable you really do need what you can't do delivery you can't do farmers markets and I think that's one of our biggest things even if I'm not available or my brother's not available you just can't trust anybody to carry your money and your produce down the road and sell it with the kind of passion and fervor that your family can so as much as we do need other help, family is invaluable.